Are you looking for a new hobby? Well, we have one for you. It's basket weaving. It's not only fun, but it can be easier than you think to do. So here to show you how it's done, we have artist Jackie Abrams from JackieAbrams.com. And you're also going to be teaching at Snow Farm. That's up, that's up uh, north a little bit, but we're doing a kind of elaborate basket weaving today. Is that right? Yes. And yes. now it starts with some paper. And then I imagine you paint the paper whichever paper way you like. Paper is in large sheets. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, both And then you sides. just paint it in any way you like. And I notice some are more simplistic, some that you have here, and this one is more I would, uh, artistic and wispy. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of paper would you be utilizing for something like it's this? It's a cotton watercolor paper. Cotton watercolor. So it's very watercolor. heavy. Yeah. And I, do they sell at a lot of craft stores, if you're looking? Yeah, or art supply stores. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have this, and then the next step is? You cut it. Okay. Into strips like this. Yes. Looking good. And then... Yep. What's yeah. next? So the next thing is you weave a base first. So the base is all baskets start on the base. Okay. This is called a cat head basket because if you hold it upside down, it has the cat ears. Oh, ears, yeah. And if you were making a functional basket, this would help to throw the weight out to the side of the basket. We were talking about that earlier. So in other mm -hmm. words, if you're putting apples in the middle or something like that, these points would take the weight away from the middle, so over time the, the middle of the basket exactly. would uh, uh, kind of wick exactly. away. Exactly, so it's a functional form. I don't. I use it as a decorative form. Very, very cool. So now we're going to weave it. Now We we're, start on the base. We start now right here. I don't know if people at home can see this, but this is the base of the basket. It's very pretty, especially doing it like this, and you're using different sides of the paper yes. for each different mm -hmm. stroke. Now this, yeah. I think a lot of people kind of did something like this with pot holders when they were younger. Exactly. So this is the easier portion. Should you mind if I, you show me first and then I'll okay. try one. So you would just weave over one, under one, over one, under one, and you can use either side of the paper and then you bring it down. And if you want your basket to be regular and not symmet uh, to be symmetrical, you need to keep it symmetrical, but you could do a more sculptural one also. So you try. All right, let's see. So we're going to the over under, right? Yep. <laughs> it's easier on the top. <laughs> it's probably easier for you too. I'm having a tough time here. All right, here we go. Over under. Wow, this is and if you weave it up a little higher and then push it down, oh, you're right. that makes it easier. Oh, this is much easier if you do it up top Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we do this. Well, let's just pretend that I did a great job with it. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll move on to what the next step is. Oh, you know what? I'm one away. But you're very close. I'm very close. It's very good. And the effort's there, and that's the, the important there. part. Oh, here we go. All right. So then you finish the base. Yes. And then we move on and we start rounding up the top and that's and where we have this. make the corners. So this right here is, is more or less the base part that we had done earlier yep. right here. And then we start rounding up the corners and then once we go to the sides, that's when we use slightly larger paper, is that Narrower. right? Narrower. Narrower paper. but longer. Okay. So, so we have this right here. Yeah. Now is it the same process? Of weaving in and out? Yes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sort of straighten the paper out because it's curved. Mm -hmm. And where we left off was over here. And then we just weave right it. This might be uh, somewhat therapeutic and relaxing, you know, after a long day it to be is. able to weave a basket it like is. this. It is. It's very good therapy. And now, Jackie, you're going to be teaching a class at Snow Farm, is that right? I am in October, and okay. it's going to be about cat head baskets, how to make these baskets, how to paint your own paper, cut it, weave it, and make baskets. And it'll be a three-day class Very in October. Cool. So if uh -huh. you're intrigued, you can head up uh, to Snow Farm Meta in Williamsburg. Yes. And it's a great nonprofit organization. Thank you so much Thank for you. showing these. Your work is absolutely gorgeous. And if you want to learn more Thank about you. Snow Farm or Jackie, go to mymassappeal.com.